Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. Aries, this message is for you. This is your first reading for the month of June. You look, be on the lookout for the second, okay? They normally show up after the 15th or so. If you guys have not already, please check out Friday Night Love Tarot for your weeklies, okay? And of course, there's going to be an extended. There's always an extended. So, pre-card shuffle. Karma is at play. That's what I heard. Karma is at play for my Aries. Someone's tired of being hurt. Mm -hmm. It's time to get serious. It's time to put in some work. Somebody's not really understanding why things worked out the way that they did or there was either a lack of commitment, something like that. We're gonna take a look at you and your other person. My Aries. Yeah, that's you. Fire sign. The King of Fire. You have the Justice card and you have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so some sort of action was taken. Uh, remember I said karma is at play here. This is Libra energy coming in and balancing the scales out possibly when it comes to institution or when it comes to your stability bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune so as far as I'm concerned Aries everything's turning in your favor right Jupiter and Pisces the blessings I always say it blessings upon blessings upon blessings coming in how do things balance out for you I know that there was some sort of conversation because you're holding wands swords and pentacles here as your overall energy, just for you. Tell me about their other person, the truth. I told you there was a conversation about a relationship. Oh, your other person wants to talk to you. Maybe you're trying to separate. Maybe you have a choice between two options here, Aries. Just I'm just saying, okay? Or you want justification for your finances and your other person is trying to tell you about how they want to work it out with you, how they want to invest in this situation. I don't necessarily see this as being investment. I see this as being opportunity towards investment. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they said leave the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the... Oh, I can take these two. Hold on. Oh, wow. Major Arcana coming out with the Justice card here. Um, the Fool card and the Nine of Cups. So new opportunities. Hold on. They're very specific today. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Fool card and Hangman. You know that you want this new beginning. You sense the energy that I just told you about. You sense it. You love it too. With this Venus and Aquarius energy, you love it. This June is coming in and bringing prosperity to you. It's bringing you the opportunity to take action and step forward into something completely beautiful. Your other person sees this for you. This could even be contract um, with other people. Doesn't necessarily, I feel like it's love. You guys know I talk on love, but this is a benefit. We'll, we'll dig into this person because there's always something that comes up. So remember I said that there is some sort of karma that's at play here. So you've done something right. That's what I just heard. You've done something right. And I feel like it's a healing energy. Yep. Look. Because you felt imprisoned. You felt trapped. You felt stuck. And it, it was like it wouldn't stop. It was like, will you please just leave me be? And then when Jupiter came in, it was like excessive too. You, you just, I mean, it was excessive, whatever it is. Mm, interesting, because I'm thinking to myself, what, why would you be in a love situation and feeling like you needed to invest and move forward to something else, right? It's because this person was keeping the relationship delayed, if, that's, if that makes sense to you. Yeah, they were happy where it was and they're with these i always look at the mushrooms on this card i don't know why but what it says to me is that there's a delusional aspect here while there's there's equity you know in a home there could be i don't know there's just an energy here of like 
newfound, everything's okay. This person was just a little delusional about why everything was the way that it was. They were just content being that way. I don't see that that was you. I see that you were really trying to get to your place of peace and happiness, okay? They have a different perspective than you did of what was acceptable in the relationship. Tell me about my Aries, please. For some reason, you need to be strategic here with this Nine of Wands. You're, you're taking a break right now because no, you feel like you've accomplished a whole bunch. Because you've, you've been busy, you've been doing new things, right? Mm -hmm. But you see it coming. Eight of Wands. Eight of Cups. <laughs> interesting, interesting, my Aries. This is passion. This is this has sexual energy written all over it. And I'm gonna come back to this, but this is one night stand energy. Okay. I'm not sure why you are thinking this though, because you know that this is a love that's coming back around to you. It's supposed to bring you stability and wish fulfillment here. Aries, that's interesting. I don't know. It's almost like I don't know. You kind of throw this person off, I think. They want to talk to you about being in a relationship and holding on to you. But your energy is you're just kind of like, no, just give me the wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. And I'm going to go. That's interesting. How else is this working out? Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups. I heard no. That's not the right card. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups. It's your, it's your wish fulfillment, whatever it is. I told you this person is waiting on you. They're waiting on you to make a decision. Oh, oh, got it, got it. Okay, magician. <laughs> Hold on, me one more. King of coins. Can't make it up can't make it up look at it king of coins king of coins the holding on to a relationship of stability here for some of you guys this might be a same-sex relationship um and you are dealing with an earth sign energy this person is going to wait for you they want to be with you you might be telling this person that you want a divorce but this person is not having that i promise you they're not having that okay um <laughs> so for whatever reason you're kind of like in this hermit mode you know that the prosperity is coming for you i said this is being someone who's like a bachelorette or a bachelor who has possible options here and this person is very adamant about you making sh making sure that they're your only one they're manifesting to be your only one the we talked about the investment here well here it's the true investment there's delay here and it's funny because there's delay this person has to what do they need to do hold on i just heard someone's intuition is incorrect is it my intuition no it's not mine <laughs> i had to question that for a second here hold on let me let me see if this is matt is this magic is this manifestation upon my aries yes it is they're trying to manifest upon you to be someone and they're waiting to see, they are waiting to see how it worked out. New beginnings. But you know what? Listen, I, and you're, this is coming out on this channel for a reason. Okay. It's coming out on this channel like this for a reason because destiny is like, look, <laughs> you need to know what the truth is about this offer. And this person is needing to understand that they're going to receive karma for what it is that they're truly offering here. And then what ends up happening is because you choose not to pursue this is kind of what I'm feeling here because you know that destiny is faded and stepping into your energy. This person... They got tired of waiting, so they started playing games, which pushed you away, 
wine and dine. Tell me about what they're trying to manifest. They want to date you, that's for sure. They, they want to keep dating you. They want to be your significant other. What are they manifesting? I told you. They want to be the one that provides for you. They want to take you out on a date. They're just waiting for you, Aries, to come in and say, okay. They don't know why it's not working out between the two of you because this kind of came out like this. There's a there's an issue with money here for your person. They are trying they're probably doing money magic too to get it to where they you will think that they'll they'll take you back or you will reconcile. Yeah. Interesting, interesting because here's the thing. This is also manifestation in this deck too. Manifesting this relationship, there's going to be some clarity that comes out about that with this Aquarius Venus energy and about how you need to be loving on yourself and moving forward into your happiness here. You know what's funny is this person's manifestation upon you may work if you find yourself heading in their direction. I just know that you have the choice to do whatever it is that you want. So for them to manifest upon you, you really need to be thinking about what it is that you want, the stable, solid relationship, okay? I feel like the manifestation possibly comes through your dreams to reconcile with your little boyfriend here, okay? Because it's not the full grown man. This person wants to be the full grown man, but um, mm, this love offer is definitely on the table. Tell me about this. I feel like this person wants you for everything, but there's a one night stand energy over here. That's how this could backfire on them. Maybe for some of them it did, you know, cause you can't mess with people's, you know, free will. Yeah. Roll it. That's what I'm saying. Back and forth. <clears throat> busy lifestyle. That's why I said it's, you've got a lot of things going on. So you might treat this more like a one night stand. They want to hold your hand and take you to the movies. Mm -hmm. Somebody here needs to go through some sort of spiritual healing. They need a cleansing. So Aries, I'm going to say the month of June for you is going to be bringing in this opportunity to invest in somebody who wants to be the daddy <laughs> or the big daddy. Um, and I'm not saying sugar daddy either. Maybe they're trying to get to the point where they can be a sugar daddy, but I feel like they would end up regretting that because you would end up walking away, you know, if that's really all they had to give. If you guys didn't really collaborate on any other level, can you really communicate or do they, they not have anything to talk about? Do you, are you on the same level? This person is coming in and not only that, I don't know why, but I have been totally channeling Biggie. And he's here. He's like, give me one more chance. I'm just hearing the hook. Give me one more chance. <laughs> right here with Biggie. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Waiting on you. Told you. Give me one more chance. Look at that. And look at that pink haze, too. Can you imagine the vibration that this person is manifesting? Oh, look. See? Can't make it up. I told you. The vibration that this person is manifesting so that you two come back together. And they're just waiting. Look out, and it, I don't know why, but it's a very sexual energy too. They like the fact that you, you know, come to them when you need gratification like that, but they want more. They're showing me Zoe Saldana. That's who they're showing me in the movie. Um, I can't even think of the name of that movie where she puts the flower. Catalina, is that what it is? Yeah. Somebody having too many things to go going on to where they really can't put into this relationship. See, too many things going on. Busy lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be some shadow work that's done. Somebody's not prepared to take on this relationship like that. I feel like I feel like they're gonna call you in. Tell me about this busy lifestyle. Tell me about my Aries and their busy lifestyle emotionally withdrawn okay so you you're the one that needs to be doing some shadow work here okay i don't necessarily well okay i take that back if this person is manifesting and projecting upon you yes that is a controlling individual you know that's kind of a manipulator of energy here so that they get what they want and they know that they can be a part of your stability that's coming in too um i feel like you just 
for some reason you take this person as a threat but I don't maybe it's a past life thing maybe it's a past life trigger because they it says love you you can't make it up fifth dimensional lover with the freaking love still burns totally projecting upon you they're coming to get you whoever this is I don't feel like it's a stalker thing I feel like it's a it's a ancestral you've been in this person's life before you two are drawn to each other sexually yeah see I wanted to get a different deck hold on tell me about this sexual energy for my Aries I want to see that too tell me about the sexual energy for Aries what's up with this because this person is coming in I promise you they're coming in hold on let me get this right and they're they're talking to you about something that has happened you know what for some of you guys I also want you to know that um, they're trying to talk to you about someone else that they have as well someone else that they have to provide some sort of support for and I feel like for those of you that are waiting on this person you know because they're always delayed or something um, your wish fulfillment might end up being having to walk away and that's what you might tell them here with this ace of swords and they're thinking about what it is that you told them now this conversation about having to wait to move forward to date them you know yeah lovers energy here totally Gemini energy and the Empress you have a sex drive like no other mm -hmm. and that's the go between between the two of you look at this and you can't make it up look your Empress energy is something that this person completely gets they understand you two vibrate with each other they are also manifesting and waiting for you you have the two of Pentacles and the seven of Pentacles again with this Empress energy loving energy but you know what one of the things about this card is you'll notice that she has been she's I, I'm not gonna say she's been painted I think what this says to me is that the two of you work so well together that he sees your scars the same way that I see people's scars Aries this person sees yours you know um, or you see each other there's also an energy here where one of you guys is hiding something from the other yeah and the truth has to come out and you I feel like here's the fool card again you might feel foolish about this yeah but it's I don't know whatever this union is whatever this choice is it's the opportunity to blend things together and start over from scratch I just heard ground zero your life changed after ground zero it's not for everybody that's for somebody specific Gemini energy okay with the um, this new chance is coming in with Venus and Aquarius here look you can't make it up Venus Venus Aquarius the, the, the confusion is going to come through Pisces energy here with um, yeah Jupiter I, you cannot make it up your June is going to be off the chain especially with this Knight of Water look here he is again right this is some sort of karma that's coming in with this offer tell me about the choice you are very sexually attractive and you're also sexually I feel like you get sexually frustrated sometimes that's why you you <laughs> you kind of are addicted to this person or this person is kind of addicted to being your source as well and there's conflict there because there might be another relationship yeah there and that's what I'm saying this person could be telling you that there is another relationship that they might be dealing with that's delayed I don't see it as being you though I think it's something that they're not done dealing with yet um, it is definitely sexual in nature because we have two women here fighting over a divine masculine tell me about this Aries I don't see like hold on yeah you might choose to end it with this person if that is the case if there is another person here um, if you and it's weird it's like if you're gonna just be a sexual fling for this person you don't want it but then for the rest of you if it can't just be a sexual fling you don't want it I, I'm like wow it, it take it how it resonates three of Pentacles here you know how is this really all gonna work out you know are we 
office buddies? Do we see each other on occasion when I'm done with my work, you know? On the outside, it looks like, oh, you just know me in passing, but what you don't really see is the subtlety, right? As he sits behind her, it looks like he's throwing up the deuces. It's, it's what it looks like, right? But he's really got the hand on the small of the back here because there's an intimate connection that they don't want other people to see. But behind closed doors, when you really look at it, this is what's going on. Yeah, that's what's going on. And I feel like this person is like, let me hold on to you. But this could also be, um, you know, somebody's internal feelings here. I feel like this is your other person with this this grounded energy or this Taurus energy. It's like they want to fight. They want to fight to control whatever this is. Lots of Capricorn energy here. Mm -hmm. They're addicted to you. Yeah. They're addicted to how you make them release is what I just heard. And I see you being willing to transform and end something here. Okay. <laughs> We're like 21 minutes. Twin flame energy. You two are teaching each other a lesson. So this person's headspace and how they feel about you, how they are going to like try to do you intention wise, um, and any other messages that come out. I see a generational past here. This person thinks about you. They project upon you. They are possibly trying to manipulate or manifest against you. Let me see what the overall message from your ancestors is going to be. And then we'll check over into Vimeo. Ooh, we, yeah. Your guides are here. Your guides are here and showing you that it's actually okay. It's in your benefit to work it out with this person. Very interesting. But it's the Aquarian energy. It's the positivity and the love that they really want you to be focused on here. Okay. It's a give and take situation. There might need to be an apology or there's going to be some sort of conversation that comes about. Um, the other, yeah, somebody is secretly wanting a full-blown marriage relationship two of cups energy the sex is off the chain and it's drama because i don't know listen i, I the only way i can explain this is you're the one aries you're the one that this person wants to wake up to every morning you're the one that this person wants to be with they see an opportunity of being friendly with you, holding on to you. They want friendship with you. But there's a delay within this relationship. All right. Any other? Tell, tell me about the delay. Any any info on the delay with the relationship? I feel like they're going to tell me it's you. I feel like that. Four of knives. Okay. Somebody's not taking the action they need to take over here. There's possibly another party here. Uh-huh. There could even be a child. So it's a, it's a little bit deeper than that. It's a little bit deeper than that. Seven of coins. Seven of coins came out again. Four of coins, seven of coins. That's 11 coins. All right. This is someone who really has to figure out what they're going to be investing in. And right now, you both are in an energy of nine of wands. There's a need to protect yourself from anybody that's trying to go back and forth with you. I don't see you wanting to go back and forth. It, it could be for sex, but like I said, to each his own, whatever it is that you choose, whatever it is that you want, opportunity is going to be coming in here. This is a twin flame for you and this person wants you, okay? They think that you're completely sexy, totally sexy, and they think about you all the time. They do. I, they, they're like, I can't believe that they stop talking to me so they're manifesting i told you they're manifesting to to bring you in so that they can just have you that's what i see <laughs> i'll see you guys over on the extended uh in vimeo but go ahead and go with on with your bad self aries boy this person is nuts over you Oof. peace noble grease